it's not just me, is it? Because I remember seeing a sneak peek to this palette like ages ago. This is of course from P. Louise and it's their new World of Wonder palette, which if you're Irish, you will know that there was a toy store called World of Wonder in the noughties and that's unlocked a memory. A massive thank you to Makeup Release Radar. I stole all their photos and the information. Let's discuss. That's right, it's another chunk of a palette coming from P. Louise Makeup, which includes bulky, bulky packaging. They have said that there's a possibility that this is coming out in this month's budget box. And there was kind of talk of saying, hey, if you get the budget box, you might get this or you might get a neutral palette. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> if I got the neutral palette, I would kick up a fuss because their last several palettes in the budget box have been neutral. And this is way more interesting. That being said, I have a sort of a weird history with P. Louise in that I don't always find their eyeshadows to be super consistent. I find their stack em ups to be absolutely spectacular, but their bigger palettes, not so much. And the main issues I have historically found were with the purples, because let's be real, purples are very, very difficult to formulate. But this, I like the tones of this. I particularly like that you have that kind of blend of more pinky toned purples and blue toned purples. It is very nice. And I'm assuming that at some point the palette itself will be on sale on their website. The swatches do look really, really nice. Do you need it? Probably not. For example, if you've the Beauty Bay Midnight, the Berries, etc., you probably have elements of these shades. But, you know, if you really like purple, this could sing to your little soul. I'd like to know how many swipes it took them to get this particular amount of pigment or were there any sort of primers on beforehand? But ooh, this set of swatches, it's looking nice. Now, I feel like this part in particular is very akin to the stack em up purple that they have. But I do appreciate that they have quite a good level of depth in here as well. I would like to see them kind of go past just a shimmer formula and start to do something a little bit different, though. It is starting to feel a bit samey, samey. But maybe that's just because P. Louise kind of saturates their own market. Like, you don't need five releases in a month, lads. All that being said, it's a fabulous colour story. Like, it looks really, really pretty. I, I mean, I would happily use all of these. I just cannot stand big, bulky packaging. I can't. Who has the space? Who has the time? It is interesting, though. Let me know what you guys think down below or in my Instagram stories.